New content? Well, it's been a while since I last uploaded anything properly. Strawberry milkshake bake well? Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Stu Dog. Sometimes I wonder to myself, whatever happened to the Stu? There's a man I haven't seen in some time. I wonder whatever happened to him, or what he's been up to these days. I hope he hasn't been captured by the Master's army and dipped in FEB. I hope he hasn't been assimilated by the Borg. Resistance is futile. I hope he hasn't been shot dead. <laughs> Whatever happens to the Stu? In all honesty, there hasn't been much of great excitement happening recently, ladies and gentlemen. I just, I normally take a bit of a holiday away from YouTube at the start of the year. Um, I know we're almost in March now, so what a, <laughs> uh, like a first quarter holiday kind of thing. But there you go, I just, um, I took some time away from it. I've still been uploading short videos, uh, cutting pieces of videos that I made with Cadenza into short form videos as well as uploading some Fallout New Vegas stuff that I had. Uh, some stuff involved in the production of Wanderer A Fallout Story. So I've done a few sort of um, editor's cuts to some of the content that I created for him and I've uploaded that to my channel. Although as well as a minor channel update, I did want to talk about my stance on AI. That's a hard pass. Sounds like a bunch of boring nerd stuff for nerds. Something that seems to be proliferating widely into the YouTube sphere recently. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't exactly trust in AI technology. Now, I'm not one of these um, uh, t Terminator Skynet people. I've never even seen the Terminator movies, so, like, whatever. Don't know what happens with that, but apparently it's some kind of AI took over the universe. Oh my god, we need to go back in time and kill it. Um, but uh, I don't think things are at that kind of a level. I've engaged a few times with sort of chat-based models and they don't seem to be particularly bright. I will concede that I've used such things as tools to do a little bit of SEO for description sections and to help with tagging YouTube videos. Uh, title finding as well, I find that to be quite a use for this technology to have, but I've heard about people writing entire scripts with it. Now, there was recently a case in a US court where a lawyer had filed an entire case and it was created by an AI. It was almost like the AI was daydreaming and it created absolute and utter gibberish that had no foundation in fact whatsoever. I would be concerned if it came to script writing using AI that the scripts would be gibberish, fake, uh, rubbish essentially. And recently a video by H Bomber Guy discussed plagiarism and there were people who were creating scripts using AIs and other people's work and they got caught. The other people's work literally verbatim being in people's scripts. So 
I think I'll just stick to writing my own scripts or just creating a script in my own head as I go along, like I'm doing right now. After all, the motto of YouTube is broadcast yourself, not broadcast what an AI told you to broadcast. I also believe such things to be useful in creating uh, artistically stylized images. I have a friend who was able to put a few images through an AI for me and create a few bits and pieces that I've used in previous videos. Keep the James, you filthy animal. Tick, tick, boom. However, I think the main sort of hot button topic of AI is the use of other people, other people full stop. Um, for example, people uploading videos with like the US presidents. Yo, Obama wanna hop on Minecraft right now? I got a few hours away from Melania. Sure, homie, let me just text Joe. No stop, don't text Joe. Too late. Shit. I'm guessing this person didn't go up to uh, that Biden guy, uh, Obama and Donald Trump, and say, hey, can I have your permission to like use your voice in my YouTube video? I I'm guessing he never got permission to do that. Permission and AI being something that has also been a recent hot button topic because someone created fake nudes of Taylor Swift and uploaded them to Twitter recently without her permission and she's not happy about it as as she well should be not happy about it and she is considering legal action in regards which I think she should be because that would be a landmark precedent in the use of AI to create such a thing. I do have a belief that people who are not as educated as us might have some issues with AI. Around about 80 years ago, Orson Welles made a radio broadcast of War of the Worlds. The radio broadcast was done in a form of, like, news broadcasts. Now, 80 years ago, he put people into panic thinking there was an actual Martian invasion happening. And that was just with the radio and TV, ladies and gentlemen. And now everyone's connected to the internet through a mobile phone. Mine's just sitting downstairs in the kitchen, actually. I was going to hold it as a prop, but there you go. Uh, but imagine if someone made a, a fake war proclamation uh, from Vladimir Putin or from whoever the US president is this week or whoever the British Prime Minister is this week and uploaded it and it went viral. It would cause mass panic and it might even result in somebody pressing a button somewhere that uh, might cause a little bit of a bang. That is the, the sort of precipice of this AI technology that we're looking at with deep fakes now becoming very, very real looking. And the thing is, YouTube is now starting to fill up with this gunk, um, a lot of junk content just made by um, automation farmers, people who can't be bothered sitting down and making a video like this. They've just typed in something into ChatGPT and it's made an entire video for them. My production process takes sometimes days. These people can do the same thing in minutes and just upload gunk, which might not necessarily be factual or useful to anyone. The writers of Star Trek, the next generation debated whether or not to marry off Captain Jean-Luc Picard, Patrick Stewart, but ultimately decided against it. All of that being said, I do appreciate the humor of the Bosnian Ape Society, ladies and gentlemen. Black S Queen is now exposed after we sacrificed a knight and bishop. The next move is obvious. We can launch an RT 2 PM2 Topol M Cold Launch 3 stage solid propellant silo based intercontinental ballistic missile to attack Black's remaining pieces. However, I do believe that this is a type of humour that has had some form of human involvement 
because it's the sort of thing that my own brain would come up with. But ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to getting an AI to write scripts for you, well, it would be unfair of me just to sit here and diss AI without actually giving it a try. I asked an AI to script a video for me. Now apologies for not looking at the camera, I'm literally just going to read this one off the screen, I put it into a text file. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this one is The Rise of Stewdog. Welcome to the official YouTube channel for Stewdog, where hip hop meets humour. Watch as Stewdog takes the world by storm with his unique blend of music and comedy. From viral hits to behind the scenes antics, you'll get an exclusive look at the rise of this rising star. Don't miss out on the latest videos, subscribe now, do that, and join the Stewdog fan club. Follow along as Stewdog breaks boundaries and pushes boundaries in the world of entertainment. Thank you for your support and stay tuned for more exciting content from Stewdog. Hashtag Stewdog, hashtag music video, hashtag hip hop, hashtag new release, hashtag rapper, hashtag hip hop music, hashtag music, hashtag up and coming artist, hashtag rap artist, hashtag musician, hashtag unsigned artist, hashtag rap music, hashtag YouTube music, hashtag track of the day, hashtag viral video, hashtag music promo, hashtag new music, hashtag hip hop artist, Hashtag explore page. Hashtag trending music. And that's why we don't fucking use AI on this channel to write fucking scripts. <laughs> what was that? Um, <laughs> um, there's also another one that I gave a try where it generated an audio file for me. The results are... The results are out there, ladies and gentlemen. Have a listen to this. Are you tired of traditional dog food options? Introducing Stew Dog, the revolutionary new way to feed your furry friend. Stew Dog is made with all natural, human grade ingredients, packed with essential nutrients to keep your dog healthy and happy. With a variety of flavors to choose from, your dog will never get bored of mealtime again. Say goodbye to artificial additives and preservatives, Stew Dog is free from any harmful chemicals. Join the Stew Dog revolution and give your furry friend the nutrition they deserve. Make the switch to Stew Dog today and see the difference in your dog's health and happiness. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more pet care tips and product reviews. So there's my experience with um, YouTube automation, YouTube um, YouTuber making things with AI. Let's not do that, ladies and gentlemen. Unless we feel in the mood for a bit of a laugh, I won't really be doing that again. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe it's an idea for an April Fool's video or something like that. But as as a serious uh, content creation engine, uh, that one's a no from the Stew Dog right there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to hear your opinion about AI stuff and the way that it's kind of gradually starting to take over YouTube. Uh, do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Do you think it's a bit mixed? I do think that it may have some uses for people whose language isn't English as like a first language. So you see this from time to time that people upload with an AI voice uh, because they can't speak English very well, but unfortunately the AI is only as good as the translation that's put into it. I would encourage people who do that to reach out to other people to uh, voice their scripts and proofread them for them. Um, I'd, I'd be open to doing something like that. I've been considering opening an account on Fiverr and uh, lending my services in that manner to proofread and uh, read out scripts for people uh, for their videos. But that's um, that's just an embryonic sort of uh, thing that I've been thinking of at the moment. I need to think about my own content first before I think about making content for others. Anyway, March, the month that Stewdog returns to YouTube. So, we've developed the plan. 
Welcome to Crucible. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Stu Dog. You know, the Stu. I couldn't report your video for cringe, so I reported it for terrorism instead. Oh, well, that's all right then! 